Alright everybody, New Joker 6 here. Today we're going to take a look at the Oberon rework. Or Oberon Revisited. Whatever wording you want to use for this. Now we do have two pages open because Oberon did get his... Revisit? However, I knew things were going to be changed. Because I knew I myself found um, at least one bug with this. So I knew that was going to get patched either, well, yesterday or today. As of updating, updating? As of recording this, uh, the revisit came out yesterday. There you go. Today is, recording date is Friday, April 28th. So let's go ahead and jump into this. We will go over this page about Oberon and then we will jump into the next page here and the fixes that happened to him. So there you go, here is Oberon here. Now I will do another video that'll probably come out on... Actually, I'm not sure now. Because this week we'd have Baro coming out. So this video will probably be up on Wednesday. And then Baro would be Friday. Well, I'm, uh, I'm not sure I'll figure that out later, but here we go. This is Oberon. If you don't know how to get him, if you're new to the game, Oberon, you can get his chassis, systems, and neuroptics all from all as a drop from any Xmas enemy, and you can get his purchase his blueprint in the market. He's a very simple frame to get. He is a referred to as a jack of all trades, master, and the master of none, of course, because he's he's been a healer. But not a fantastic healer. He's done a bit of support, but not a lot of support. He can do some damage, but not a ton of damage. He's, he's kind of everywhere. His kit's all spread out. So let's take a look at it. At Oberon Revisited. People have been wanting him to get his rework for some time. He's been saying that Oberon needs a rework. And now he finally gets one. So let's let's take a look at what this is. What what kind of tweaks he's get? Oberon now joins the likes of many other Warframes to receive ability tweaks. The vision for Oberon was to give his abilities synergy between them, and to ensure that he brought sufficient aid on the battlefield. Changes to Oberon's abilities include the following. So he did get a brand new passive. His old passive allowed, um, like enemy Kavats to become friendly. For X amount of time. Now. Allied pets. So that would be if you bring your Cooper. You can vat your helmet charger. Or um, I would presume. If anybody in your squad brought them. They're now going to get. A health armor and shield buff. And they will also get one instant revive per mission. So that right there is a fantastic passive. Compared to what it was. Now myself. I ran into multiple instances where uh, I'd go up against being a defense or something, and then we'd get high echo masters. Uh, all the enemies would die, and then we'd have Kavats left, and they just wouldn't die because they'd be turned friendly because of his passive. That got really annoying when they wouldn't die. Mm. Now... Taking a look at his first ability, it does damage from projectiles emitted from the enemy scales based on enemy level. Projectile damage spreads across all projectiles and is affected by mods. So basically what it is is you would use your ability and then you do damage to that enemy and then these like orbs would shoot out. And the damage that it's talking about scaling was 20% damage, 20% of the health. Uh, would shoot out, spread across all the orbs, and then to go out and, you know, they hit other enemies, or if that's the only enemy, they'd come back. And um, it did get a fix here for Smite. Large, It's essentially remained the same, but in, it's been gone from 20% uh, up to 35% now. Added base damage to Smite and its projectiles with the damage to Smite scaled into its projectiles. This will give Smite more punch when facing lower level enemies. That is fine. However, in my opinion, it it doesn't scale very well. Especially with uh, enemies that's got armor. A lot of this armor. It's, uh... You're probably never going to end up using Smite except for maybe when you're ranking him to begin with. 
Hollowed Ground, it did get a new visual look, but to my knowledge, it is still going to be updated. So uh, the look that it is now visually in the game is not how it's going to stay. Hollowed Ground is now more of an arc shape. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I, I suppose we can take a look at it. It's like if you were standing in one spot, it's like putting half a pizza in front of you. It's kind of like that. Whereas before it was like, here's here's a carpet. That's essentially what it was. It was like just laying down a carpet. So this does work a lot better with a lot more, um, obviously, um, better coverage. Because with this, what it, when you use it, it does cause radiation damage and uh, the radiation proc to the enemies that walk into it. So even if you lower your duration down to like 15%, so your hollow ground is only up for like one point something seconds, you just you use it, and you're not going to be able to get the benefits of the synergy with things like Reckoning. Well, actually, Reckoning, you might be able to. Renewal, I know you can. There is enough time if you do it quick enough. Uh, but that's, that'll go completely into another topic, but the point is, is even with a very small duration, you can still use your second ability and radiate the enemies for that little bit of crowd control. Um, the added status chance that is affected by strength mods, and the adjusted the damage and ranges. Yes. Yes, yes, yes. Um, renewal. I don't... This... No, I didn't. Okay, it's not until we get to renewal. Uh, renewal is Oberon's third ability. It is basically a heal. Now, once you use it, it... Or, when you used it before, it would send out these little, like, orbs or fairies or whatever they were. Little projectiles. Balls of light. And they would shoot off and basically track down your squad mates on the map and get to them and start healing them. Now, uh, with the uh, renewal being revisited, we've got an increase in casting speed, which is great because you don't want to sit there for like four seconds to cast a heal. Especially if your teammate needs it like right now. The energy drain starts once the wave hits the allies, so it is more of a wave that emits out from Oberon rather than sending these little orbs out. And his energy doesn't get drained until the ally has come in contact with that wave. So, basically if there's no healing being done, his energy doesn't take that hit. Whenever Oberon casts that renewal on an ally, st uh, on an ally standing on hollowed ground, it activates Iron Renewal, granting armor boost for the entire heal process. Once healing is complete, armor boost is on a timer. That's a little bit of the synergy I was talking about with hollowed ground. If you are quick enough, so you do two and then immediately do three, you'll be able to put hollow ground down, give them the radiation and the heal and armor boost to whoever is in, you know, the range. So that is still possible. Although you do have to be quick, as I said, if you have that small duration. Renewal doesn't stop healing when target ally is at full health. It will continue to heal as long as it is active, which is excellent. Because what it would do before is it would, um, it would heal you up. And then if you hit full health, that was it. Your heal is over. Now, if you get healed... Uh, you reach full health, fantastic, but if you take damage, you will then begin healing back up because the duration of the heal is still going. So let's take a look at the changes. Removed heal time from Renewal. Renewal now functions more conventionally as a toggle, which drains 2 energy per second while active, uh, plus 3 per second per target actively being healed. So instead of it being on a timer, it is now basically a toggle. So you can turn it on, and as long as you have energy, they're going to keep healing. Into, or until you turn it off. Um, and they did want to make a note that you cannot use Trinity's Energy Vampire to give Oberon energy while he is healing. Added the Is Active Ability icon animation to Renewal to basically just let you know that it is active. Uh, fixed Renewal Bleed Out buff being removed from, in, from entering Bleed Out. There you go. 
Um, and then there are way of UI bugs, and then we get to uh, Hollow Ground. That was weird. Hmm. That should have been up there. Um, so I guess we'll take a look at that now. Fixed Hollow Ground being impossible to see with low particle quality setting. Uh, yeah, this is what they say. They're still working on the effects improvements overall, but this is one of the bugs that I noticed is if you put the particle settings on low, you cannot see it. It was completely invisible. Now, some people do say that they haven't seem to have an issue for whatever reason seeing it, which I don't know why they would have an issue, but it's perfectly fine to me. And maybe it's just their energy color. Like for, let me just, uh, hold on. Let me just pull over on out here. Uh, I know my alphabet. Over on. So his two looks like this now. And that's perfectly visible. I mean, my duration on this is very small, which is what I was kind of bringing up earlier. Um, I'll go to my more of an overall all around. Here's what's more overall, over round. But to me, this is perfectly visible. So it might just depend on some players' energy colors that are making it hard for them to see. So just just show you a bit of that synergy. If, since I'm standing on here, if I hit three, you see Iron Renewal activated, giving me 290 armor. And of course, that's going to depend on your strength mods, which we can get into that uh, later. Well, on my one, my other build that has no duration but tons of strength, um, I think my armor was like 490 or something like that. And then they fixed a script error and or, uh, the augment not hurting ragdoll enemies, which was kind of pro was kind of a problem. And then they just fixed some other bugs. And now reckoning the fourth ability, enemies with radiation status chance, such as when you're using your hollowed ground, which is one reason why you why to have duration, or otherwise you're gonna have to quickly do again two four. Uh, if you have that low duration, like you saw in that one, um, but uh, they will now take bonus damage from reckoning. So reckoning will do even more damage if they're standing on hollowed ground. Enemies standing on hollowed ground will receive armor debuffs affected by strength. Which is completely fantastic. So if they're standing on hollowed ground and use reckoning, they will receive this armor reduction. Which I saw there was over 40 something percent. And if I were to use this one with 213 power strength, it does become 63% armor reduction. Now, you could easily get this well over 80% on that. Um, but let's taking a look. I think that's it. I think that's it's all we got here to for going over Oberon's patch notes. Yeah. That's all we got. All right, so I'll be doing an, a video showing Oberon and showing the abilities and how that all synergizes and works together. And probably the next video that you see after this or the one that you'll see right after Borrow after seeing this. I'm not sure how I'm going to squeeze this all in, but hopefully there's no more updates that come out for Oberon. Uh, before then, otherwise some of this info might be a little outdated by then. But on the other hand, I, I do kind of hope they do like another update to fix his visual effects by then, or um, oh boy, uh, fix I don't know something with the synergy, give a little more damage, or help make Smite scale better. 
Uh, but uh, I'm just going to start rambling on with that. But with that, take care. Have yourselves a good one. Leave a comment down below. Leave a like if you enjoyed. Leave a dislike if you didn't. Boo, cry. <laughs> uh, remember to hit that subscribe button. Hit that bell right beside there so you can get notifications when we go live. Remember to follow me on... Come follow on Hitbox. Come follow on Twitch. Same name. You should not be seeing it across the bottom. But now you will. <laughs> Actually, you won't. Yeah. <laughs> uh, so, let's go ahead. You can check me out there on Hitbox. Uh, same link on Twitch. Or same name on Twitch. And with that, take care. I'll see you guys all, all in the next video. Happy modding, everybody. Take care. Uh -huh.